Hey everyone, Anthony Scott here at ToyHypeUSA.com. Today we are reviewing Super 7's newly released Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles classic cartoon reaction figures, which are available now. These are inspired from the classic animated series and include the Foot Soldier, Shredder, Undercover Raphael, and Rocksteady as they appeared in the cartoon. Special thank you to Super 7 for sending these along for review. This is greatly appreciated. Each figure comes on a blister card, and let's kick things off with a look at Undercover Raphael and Rocksteady, which you see on the front there. On the back, you have a look at what's included in this wave, and a look at wave one, which is also available now. Here's a look at Shredder and the Foot Soldier. And a look at the back of the packaging. The packaging features the character that's inside the blister card, and each one of these look great. I really like how the artwork came out. So I'm going to open these up now, and let's take a closer look. Here's your in-hand look at each one of these new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reaction figures inspired from the classic cartoon. I do have the older figures released in 2020, 2021 right over here, so we're going to be doing a comparison. So hang out and make sure to watch that segment. Undercover Raphael comes in his, I guess you call it a beige raincoat with a dark brown belt buckle there. The hat has red trim around it that you see here. And he also has his red bandana sculpted and painted right over his eyes there. Let's bring this in a little bit closer so you guys can see. The deco on them is phenomenally done, especially the bright green skin tone. Shredder comes in his black, dark gray, light gray outfit with the spikes sticking up, which you see on the gauntlets there, shoulder pads and knee pads. The helmet is sculpted on. And on the back, he has a plastic cape. Lifting this up, you can see the nice sculpted details on the back here. This is all sculpted and painted, very nicely done. The blades are painted in a light gray and they're not sharp, so you don't have to worry about that. Rocksteady comes in a green hat, which fits right over his head here that is sculpted on. He also has a yellow tank top, light brown pants, a brown belt and boots, also a brown spiked bracelet right on this wrist there and on the other side a dark gray bracelet which is also sculpted on the sides he has these they kind of look like turtle shells and it's the same on the other side the skin tone has a little bit of a sculpted texture on there and it's very nicely done it's also a few lumps which you see here the eyes are yellow with black pupils. Here's a look at the top of the helmet here. The foot soldier comes in a dark purple, black, and light gray deco, which is sculpted wrist guards, or I should say form guards, and these are very nicely done, sculpted details on the side. Here is a look at the back. The head sculpt has the foot logo, which you'll remember from the classic cartoon, and he has yellow eyes. For anyone that's unfamiliar with Reaction, these are action figures that are inspired from the 1970s. So think if Ninja Turtles were released in the 70s, this is what these would look like. This is basically Super 7's interpretation of it. These are also a bit stylized and not 100% accurate to the animated series. However, the deco is very nicely done. So when thinking of five points of articulation, for example, think of Kenner Star Wars. This includes swivel necks, swivel shoulders, and swivel hips. Here's a look at their accessories. Rocksteady comes with a knife and a blaster. I'm sure you guys will remember from the cartoon, Rocksteady, I don't believe he ever used a knife. It was just a blaster. But since the previous release also came with a knife, he gets these same accessories. 
Undercover Raphael comes with the Psy. The Foot Soldier comes with a Blaster. And Shredder comes with a Katana, which, in my opinion, is a little bit short. But again, this is stylized. I believe in the cartoon, the Katana was a bit longer than this. Here's a comparison of Undercover Raphael with his first release, as well as Cadet Raphael. As you can see, each one of these has their own distinct likeness. Again, I do not have the new cartoon Raphael, so that is another variation. Here is a look at the back at all three of these figures. Here's a comparison of Rocksteady along with his first release inspired from the Vintage Toy. You'll also notice that I put Bebop right there on the left. Here is a look at the back. Rocksteady is a repaint from his first release, so there's no new tooling. Here's a comparison with the battle damaged foot soldier as well as the regular variation. He is also a repaint from the regular variation. The battle damaged one had some new tooling. Here is a look at the back. The final comparison is Shredder. The katana is just a repaint which is cast in light gray plastic. And again, it is a little bit on the short side at least in my opinion. The new paint apps, very nicely done. Here is a look at the back. You'll also notice that the cape is a little bit longer on the cartoon version of Shredder. Here is a battle scene for you guys. Here is a group shot for you guys, showcasing the first releases of the Turtles back in 2020. Undercover Raphael, Shredder the Foot Soldier, and Rocksteady and Bebop in the back. Thank you again to Super 7 for sending along the cartoon variations of these figures along for review. This is greatly appreciated. Overall, my recommendation would be to pick them up. These are great figures. Nice attention to detail. I think fans are going to love them. I realize some fans might not love five points of articulation, but in styles like this, I think it works pretty well. You can find these at our sponsors at ToyHypeUSA.com. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more coverage and reviews.